The next question then becomes, are they going to release the grand jury report? So there's a lot that happens in a grand jury proceeding. These are secret proceedings. They're hidden behind closed doors. Uh, they're typically recorded. You can get transcripts of these things, but they're highly protected because it's a secretive forum. Grand juries happen in the close of dark, in the, in, the, in, the, in the dark of night. They are something that happens in secret because they don't want it to be impacted by uh, political things or by outside pressure. It's sort of a protected enclave of your fellow men and women, your fellow citizens, who will review the evidence behind closed doors, not feel any pressure, and then make a charging decision. It's the reason that they exist. But in, in these types of situations, there, there's transcripts. We can see what evidence was presented. We can see what the jurors were asking, what the questions were. It's all transcribed. And so in Arizona, when we get these transcripts, we go through a very formal process. We can't take these and put them on the internet. We can't take these and uh, you know make a, a million photocopies of them. So there's a process that we go through where we check these things out and then check them back in. And that's how this works. So, so, so one of the reporters asks, Cameron, they say, hey, are you going to release the grand jury report? Here's what he has to say about that. Um, as to the question about the, the makeup of the grand jury, um, we might be able to, uh, I need to confirm on that front about. Talking about, you know, permission. Yeah, you know, the, uh, the fact that this has received so much scrutiny, uh, I think it'd be inappropriate for me to share the information. Uh, about the makeup of the grand jury just to, to the extent I can protect them. Yeah, and so the question there again was about what is the makeup of the grand jury? People want to know, you know, are they, uh, is it all a bunch of white people on the grand jury? Is it a bunch of white cops on the grand jury? Who's part of the grand jury? And so he, uh, you know, certainly refused to answer that, which, which I think is part of the, you know, part of his ethical obligation. These things happen in secret for a reason. So there's a lot that he just cannot disclose, regardless of whether he wanted to or not. Sounds like he kind of wanted to disclose that. Sounds like he wanted to say, yeah, half of those people were African American, but he couldn't say that because. Uh, he, 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 couldn't, he couldn't say that. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. Sounds like he wanted to say that, but he didn't. Now, that being said, Kentucky's governor, Andy Bashir is calling for evidence to be released in the investigation. So this just happened at 109 today on Twitter. It says included here, Gov Bashar Bashir also believes that the racial makeup of the grand jury should be released, which AG Cameron says wouldn't be appropriate because it could risk exposing the identities of the jurors. Now, I don't, you know, I don't think that's a big deal. If there's, a, you know, if there's a bunch of jurors and you say half of them were black, half of them were white, and three of them were, were Asian or Mexican or whatever. How does that help identify anybody? I don't know, but they're going to, uh, sounds like they're going to try to stay hard and fast by that rule and not disclose uh, much of anything. <music>